Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm getting started already. I, uh, I am only have a single glove. It's pretty warm, but I am wearing my, my, uh, inner layer jacket. It is supposed to be windy, not as cold, but windy. So, anyways, I did decide to wear my frog togs. I did decide to wear my frog togs because uh, I'm gonna go through Mario Land. So I left during the warmest time of the day, which is uh, after 12. It's supposed to be 69 degrees. So I left during the, the warmest time of the day, 69 degrees. It's gonna be like this all the way until 3 o'clock, 69 degrees supposedly, but it's also it's also going to be windy. Wind advisory 15 to 20 miles an hour with gust up to 35. I'm feeling no resistance. I must have tailwind. At least I think I have tailwind. I'm not sure. So I do plan on using the machete today. are a little watering, getting a little teary just because it's cool and it's windy. But I just start blinking my eyes. People are out here wearing t-shirts, shorts. Oh, a lot of wind right here. Ooh. Getting a lot of uh, crosswind is what I'm getting, a lot of crosswind. So, getting a lot of crosswind here. Oh, yeah. Whew. So, I'm going to take a little different route. I'm going to head to Mario Land. I'm going to hack my way through. And uh, I think today, today will probably be the last time I go through Mario Land because uh, after after today, tomorrow's going to be sunny, but it's going to start raining again, and I probably won't go through Mario Land for the rest of the year. It's eventually. Weather conditions aren't, you know, right. And uh, next thing I know, spring is coming. And once it becomes spring, the vegetation starts growing like crazy. And I usually don't go through there. So maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. Who knows? This trailer is sticking out like crazy. Anyways, so it's still like winter, considered winter, but I can tell the sun is already uh, shifting, or the earth is already shifting, I should say, but. I have like a Blink XT2 camera in the front of my house. My house faces west. 
and so I can see where the sun is setting and I can see the sun is, is setting further and further northward to the southward and so uh, I know it's probably you know a matter of time before spring arrives I don't know when spring arrives like I could tell by looking at the trees and the leaves on the trees certain plants start leaving right before spring other plants start to grow leaves all right i woke up early this morning i just woke up i'm not sure what it is uh my sleeping patterns have changed So I'm starting to wake up earlier or get less sleep, but I don't feel tired. I mean, I, I feel like I got good sleep and I'm taking more naps. Like, you know, when I get tired, I just like fall asleep. Most of the time is when I get on the, uh, on my couch and get in the sleeping bag, get in the sleeping bag. And it's like a thermal sleeping bag. It's rated for 30 degrees, but you know, when you're inside the house, man, it's really warm. <laughs> I just start dozing off. I'm like, oh, doze off into sleep. And I only sleep for like a couple hours, but I've noticed I'm getting more of these kind of episodes where I just doze off and sleep for a few hours at a time. But not showing any signs of like fatigue or anything just I just doze off this whoa sleep a lot of wind right here gust up to 50 no gust up to 35 miles an hour is the advisory so I don't know uh, how that's gonna affect me that could slow me down going headwind and then again that could give me a boost of speed it's gonna be interesting to see the uh, speedometer the tele telemetry data on this. Oh. So yesterday, yesterday it was like 70, it reached 70 degrees yesterday. Oh, it felt good. It was nice. Uh, today is uh, going to be about 60. Not bad, but uh, a little bit colder. Okay, I'm going to start uh, slowing down just a little bit because I'm already getting heated here. My chest is getting heated. Everything else is fine. I wore the frog talk pants because uh, I'm going through Mario Land and it's a jungle. It's kind of like a little jungle, very bushy. It's gonna be weed whacking. Oh, I feel a little tailwind here. Winds are blowing. So I'm going to go underneath the tunnel and just head straight, straight to Mario Land. Normally I'd go through, normally I'd go through, through, uh, sorry, i go through, through. I would go through uh, the decomposed granite trail under, underneath the bridge. I'd go underneath the bridge and then uh, get onto the other side of the road that way. But today I'm actually going this way. I've got to ring the bell. Duck down. Ugh. There's some little little puddles of water here. I'm using mostly the throttle on that. All right. All this time I've been pedal sys five gear seven. I want to 
across the road and now get to this side here. All right, there we go. Okay, so going to go through Mario Land. After I go through Mario Land, I'm just going to go straight home. I'm just going to get a nice bike ride in because tomorrow, today's Friday, and tomorrow's Saturday, so all the weekend warriors are going to come out of the woodworks and start riding the bike because it's still going to be sunny. It's going to be sunny tomorrow, but it's going to be more under, it's going to be under 60 degrees, upper 50s, and that's pretty good for some people, you know, who like to jog and ride the bike and they don't, they don't, you know, sweat as much. So it's a, it's a good exercise, outdoor exercise day. Nobody around the school, that's fine. All right, elementary school over here. They got like five schools here, five elementary, middle school, and high school. More than that, I think, I think seven. They have seven, seven schools, public schools they've gone to, and, and I think they've got one or two private schools out here. Well, I think I got some tailwind. See the leaves blowing. Just got to take this way, and uh, they'll take me to Mario Land through the streets. But once I get through Mario Land, we'll see. I got my machete here. All right. Oh, I got I got tailwind. I can tell because man, pedaling is so easy, and I'm just cutting through the air like butter. I'm just cutting through the air like butter. I'm not actually, I'm gonna stop putting effort. I'm gonna just throttle from here because I got tailwind. I think I'm all, yeah, I'm right. Right here, here I am. Okay. <laughs> I almost missed it. <laughs> Hit that bump a little bit harder than I wanted to. Okay, right here. All right. Gear down a little bit. Put all this down just a little bit to three. There we go. It's it's filled up here. There's an egret, white egret right there. filled up here a little bit. We'll see how it is. Let me gear down a little one more. Give myself a little pedal advantage, mechanical advantage here. We'll see if there's any water in this ditch. Hopefully there's not. Uh, looks like there is a little bit of water at the ditch. I'm going to try to go at its narrowest point, where I think there's no water. Okay, I'm, going to, I'm just going to pick this spot. Just go with it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh. All right. I think someone might have driven through here. Let me see. There's a... Uh... Okay, I think I, I can go through the middle. Let's see how it works out. All right. That worked out. I think someone drove through here. If someone drove through here, that's awesome. That means they cleared a path for me already. Uh, yeah, I think somebody already drove through here. Because it just looks different. Let's, let's try it out. I'm throttling. Uh, no, nobody drove through here. It's just, oh, well. Should I? I don't need the machete. I don't need the machete. It looks like someone did come through. It looks clear or clearer. Yeah, it looks clearer. I don't know if anybody drove through here, but it's definitely a lot clearer. Okay. 
Okay, I just want to make sure there's no train tracks or <laughs> there's no train coming. I always walk my bike over because this looks harder than it, it's harder than it looks. It really, really is. Okay. Oh, all right. I didn't have to pull out the machete. Oof. All right, good. Okay, still on gear one. Really muddy here. Uh, which side should I get out of? Let me get on this side because it's... I'm not sure, but maybe someone's uh, camping, homeless camping out here. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I saw a tarp. Usually you see a tarp when you see someone doing homeless camping. All right. Okay. Just trying to stay on the dry side here. Speed things up here, pedal assist five again. I'm gonna go in. Oh man. There we go. I'm gonna go into the hidden lakes. I'm gonna make my round trip and I'm gonna take my break over there. That's what I think I'm gonna do, anyways. Uh, looks like they got some lawnmowers over there, so I might have to be a little careful. The water fountain's on. Another thing, another thing I noticed is uh, since I have the blink cameras in front of my house, there are more. There's more bird activity. There's more bird activity. So that's another thing I noticed. That's an early, early sign that. Spring is right around the corner. All right. All right, off to the Hidden Lakes. Hidden Lakes, I'm taking my break there. I'll take a little break. Oh, it's beautiful today. Right, nobody's here. Let's see how muddy it is. Oh, not that muddy. Good, it's dry. It's drier, I should say. All right, everyone. See y'all later. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Riding back home. Bye.